Hey you, it's Mo. I get to share with you today my Shantikai Holy Grail products. Now, if I had to start all over again, these are the products that I would buy. As I talk about each product with you today, I'm going to demo them as well so that you can see, you know, what they're all about and I'll share all the details and such. Shall we hydrate and begin? For me, a Holy Grail product is something that I've used for quite some time, something that I'm constantly wanting to reach for and use, something that performs and has shown its worth, something that when it starts to run low, I'm getting ready to repurchase it. Absolutely. I wanted to make this video because I think it'll come in handy if you're new to the brand, if there's a sale going on and you kind of want to see what products you think might be worth it to try out or just to hear another opinion from someone who's used the products for a while. And I think it's also fun to hear when you've used a product for so long, what's really truly worth it because I have been very fortunate enough to try so many products from Shantikai and today was a little hard because I really enjoy a lot of them, but I did my best to narrow it down to the true rider dies, the ones that I really, really reach for the most and have repurchased. All right, so I'm gonna go in order of application. We're gonna talk a little bit about skincare and we're gonna talk about makeup. Nothing beats good, nourished, prepped, primed, and ready to go skin for makeup, because then it just looks so much better. We know this, yes? I'd like to start off with a product I personally find to be the most universal from Shantik High. It's something that can be categorized as skincare and as makeup. It's something I too personally have repurchased the most and have the most of. I keep it in the bathroom, I keep it in here in my beauty room, I keep it in my makeup bag, and I keep it beside the bed. I think we know where this is going. <laughs> I'm talking about the Pure Rose Water. This product is everything. <laughs> and for fun, they recently released it in one of these packaging. This one, so pretty. It has a beautiful sprayer on it. It's just really beautiful packaging. Same product, amazing product. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Pure Rose Water is simply just simply to the point, it's holy grail for so many reasons. <laughs> I can use this before I wash my face. I can use this when I first wake up to refresh myself. I can use this to refresh my makeup. I can use this to prep my skin before makeup. I can use this in place of a toner. I can use it just to refresh throughout the day. I can use this to set my makeup. I can use this to spray to, you know, take down the powderiness of makeup. I can use this for everything. I can use this just because I like the smell and I want to be in like a good mood. It does that too. <laughs> now let me get into the fancies, okay? Because this stuff is amazing with very good reason. <laughs> the delicate petals are hand harvested and stem distilled in artesian well water in the south of France. She's fancy. And I really truly love most that it's something that is so universal. She's well-rounded. She's multifunctional, and we love that. Yes, we do. And the mister on all of them, you know, the ones that come in the traditional, the ones that come in this packaging, and then the little travel size, the misters are all the same, all consistent, give a good mist on your skin. Fantastic stuff in every single way. Let's talk cleansers. The Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. It gives a good, deep, clean with a light exfoliant that you could use every single day. Good on sensitive skin, good on combo skin, good on normal skin, and good on dry skin. Yes, this is used amongst my entire household. <laughs> and it is so effective at cleaning the skin without overly stripping and drying the skin. This is something that you need this smallest amount. It gives a beautiful foam. Your skin just feels so clean. Now this has a rice bran extract that is what gives you that gentle exfoliator. And then it also contains the benefits of rose, geranium, and orange blossoms to help lift your spirits. Yes. So along with being highly effective and suitable for multiple skin types, she's crafted in France, so she's nice and fancy. <laughs> 
love this cleanser. Of all of the Shantikai cleansers that I have tried, this is number one. Yes, she is. Hello there. I have brought you in a little bit closer because we're moving on to the serums portion of our Holy Grail products from Shantikai. And I want you to get to see all of the things, all of the things as we talk about them. So the first serum that I get to talk to you about is like, wow, I... I was just so blown away by this product. A vital Essence. I feel like every time I talk about this product, I'm literally showing you an empty bottle because I use and love it so much. So this, <laughs> this is what it looks like. There is a little bit of product left in there and I use it all the way to the end. Like I have just about that much left, but the actual product, like the full size, I have a brand new bottle here. This is a product I never wanna run out of. So anytime I get low, it's time to get a new one. I do not play. I cannot be without this product. This is what a brand new bottle of the Vital Essence looks like. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I will admit, this made me click on the picture on the website. I was like, what is that? And then when I read what it was all about, I was like, oh, that sounds right up my alley. That sounds like it's like exactly what I'm looking for. So again, we're gonna be using this because I'm just finishing up what's in there, but this is what a full brand new bottle of it looks like. It is a gel-like consistency, and this is a face and eye serum. It's very hydrating and very, very lightweight on the skin. I'm just putting it on one side of my face today because we're going to talk about another serum, and I want to apply that serum as well, so we'll save that for the other side. But I just want to show you how nicely that goes on the skin. This is something I use day and night. It gives great hydration to my skin. My forehead tends, although I'm combination skin, my forehead and my cheeks have been so dry. I don't know why, <laughs> but they just have. So I like to put a little extra in those areas and it's quite effective bringing back that nice moisture it's infused with bilberry extract that's a moisturizing antioxidant that's a replacement for vitamin c it's also designed to target rough and dry areas of the skin and for me it has come in so handy for the very dry areas on my forehead on my cheeks because like i said i do have combination skin but my goodness my cheeks and sometimes my forehead are so <laughs> it's so great with all that moisturizing because it contains grapeseed oil and vitamin E. And also, to top all of that off, it contains willow herb extract, which helps with your sebum. And sebum comes from your sebaceous glands, which are your oils. Your skin is going to naturally produce them, but this has that ingredient that helps keep them at bay. So you don't look too greasy and shiny. Okay. <laughs> so there is the... What I can't live without, <laughs> the Vital Essence. Multifunctional product that does all of the things. We love that. Now the next serum product that I can't live without is Holy Grail Status. It's more of a preventative product for me. It's an anti, it's another anti-aging product. It's more focused in on your vertical and horizontal lines. And I am starting to get my lines in my forehead. You see them? They're coming, but prevention, okay? I'm team prevention. I'm team get on it early. Don't wait till the last minute. And also give your skin the other good stuff too. The product that I'm talking about that I have been trusting my anti-agingness to from Shantikai is the Bio Lifting Serum. Wow, this is some potent stuff. In all honesty, there is no miracle product that is just going to instantly get rid of your fine lines and make you look like 30 years younger, 20 years younger, 10 years younger. It's just, no, there's no serums or potions that do that. But this does smooth and just lighten the look of, and I will take that without doing anything invasive. I will take that. Smile lines forehead wrinkles, crow's feet, all of the things. So along with all of those smoothing properties, it does hydrate and also protect your skin from blue light pollution. Now this is a product that you can use day and night. It is a very lightweight serum. 
it's not super watery. It's a little bit thicker in consistency, but it's still super light weight and feels very nourishing and hydrating on the skin. So that is what it looks like. Like I said, it's a little bit thicker. It's not sticky. It's not sticky at all. I like to put a little extra in my smile lines. <laughs> and my forehead, which is where I have been noticing I'm getting my lines. And never, ever, 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 don't you dare forget your neck. Your neck and your hands, okay? I treat my neck and my hands like I treat my face. I give my neck and my hands the same amount of attention that I give my, my, my face. And as you can see, it goes right on the skin. It's not sticky at all. It's great and super duper light. Wait. So this is from the Shantikai Biolifting line, the more anti-aging stuff, the more preventative stuff for me. This is the Biolifting Serum Plus. I'm a huge fan of the Rose de Mai line from Shantikai. I find it to be so calming on my skin, very hydrating on my skin, just a beautiful product overall. So my go-to daytime moisturizer and I say daytime because it's a lot lighter and easier and just it works for me in the daytime. <laughs> because at night, I just use so much more. I want a heavier moisturizer. I really want it on there. <laughs> but for my daytime go-to moisturizer, my holy grail, it's the Rose de Mai Cream. This stuff is amazing. I'm pretty much out of this bottle. It is a very lightweight moisturizer. It's a gel cream texture. That's the texture of it. It's very lightweight and feels just so good on the skin. Now, with it being a part of the Rose de Mai line, it's infused with the Rose de Mai blossom that just cocoons your skin, leaving your skin so moisturized and smoothed with just enough radiance. So I am going to apply this on the side that we use the Vital Essence because I use it with both serums, but for today, because of the next moisturizer that I'm gonna use, I am applying it to that side. It feels so good. <laughs> so lightweight and it just goes right into the skin. You're not sitting here for a thousand years and we cannot forget the neck. I welcome my wrinkles and my fine lines, but I want to gracefully welcome them. <laughs> and we've got just enough radiance from that Rose de Mai cream. You could confidently just wear your skin with no makeup if you choose. We actually started like this. This is the Rose de Mai face oil. I got it in this little, how much is in here? This contains 15 mLs, okay? And this lasted me for such a while. But I will show you what the full size looks like. The full size is beautiful, absolutely beautiful packaging. It's got the pinky toned up here. It's a glass bottle with the dropper. It's a 100% natural elixir that's infused with powerful botanicals that are gonna help the appearance of lines and promote a brighter looking complexion. I'm reading from my notes because I wanted to say it as professional as possible. So I know, you know, I know what I'm talking about right here. <laughs> and now it does claim to smooth the skin as well. And again, I'm all about prevention. I do, my whole face I do about five drops, but because we're only gonna be doing one side, I'm going to do like three. <laughs> this facial oil is so lightweight. It's actually a little surprising because I have used facial oils that are just not this lightweight, which are fine, but I just find this to be so much more lightweight. It's very comfortable and easy on the skin. And a lot of times, if I am having like a lazy skin night, I will skip my serum, just wash my face and put on my oil. And my skin loves it. <laughs> 
So here is the skin with the oil, super hydrated, super smooth, nice and plump and supple. And just good stuff all around, I have to say. <laughs> just like I go for the best high quality of foods that I put in my body, these are my high quality skincare products that I trust my skin with. And they have truly performed and helped me maintain my face. <laughs> Let's talk about my, let me zoom out a little. Okay, so. Let's talk about my holy grail Shantikai makeup products. Let's start off with primer. First up, the Ultra... Oh, wait. There we go. This is the Ultra Sun Protection Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Primer. This technically could be considered skincare because it is a moisturizing type product that you could put on after your serum and you'll get moisture from it, and an amazing sunscreen, and a primer, because it smooths your skin, and it just allows makeup to apply and wear so good. It doesn't give a white cast, and it feels super lightweight. Like, this stuff is amazing. So this creates an invisible shield on your skin to protect you from the harsh rays, the UVBs, UVAs. Lightweight, oil-free, and it's slightly mattifying. Not to that flat and dull mattifying, but just that nice modern matte that we all love very much. This is a little more on the runny side, so you definitely want to give it a good shake. And do not be shy with your sunscreen, okay? And this also I will put on one half of my face because we've got another product that I use as primer that I want to share with you. And I've only got one face. <laughs> We're going to do half. So as you can see, there is no white cast at all. And it goes on your skin so nicely. Gives good moisture and really beautiful finish on the skin and you're getting all of that good sun protection don't forget your lid i've got no white cast it's not heavy it's not greasy it's beautiful <laughs> and i love it and another priming product that is go-to that is holy grail that i know if you've heard me talk about a jillion gazillion times but with very good reason, is this one that's like pretty much halfway done. I hope I have enough in here. <laughs> this is this is another thing. I always like when I get to here, I've already ordered another one. But when I get to this point, when I see it's like almost done, it's time to order another. This is the anti-pollution mattifying cream. This too can be classified as skincare, but I like using it as a primer. Because this is an anti-pollution cream it protects your skin hold on let me show you the texture there's the texture of it it pretty much prote it protects your skin from the elements and with it saying it's mattifying this is another product that is not a dull harsh drying mattified look it's definitely going to tone down that shine but not leave you flat and dull at all, all while giving you moisture and smoothing your skin. Products side by side, because now you can see that the sunscreen and the mattifying cream are not overly dulling mattifying products on your skin. You've got good moisture, but you're smoothed with a very modern, fin modern matte finish on your skin. Definitely the sunscreen gives a little bit more glow than the mattifying, but both are very moisturizing and beautiful priming products on your skin. Let's get into foundation. The Feature Skin. It's an oil-free gel in texture foundation. It's got medium to buildable coverage. It's packed with beautiful skincare. It's just a very much skin enhancing makeup product. So you're not left looking like you're wearing a mask. You just look simply beautifully enhanced. Your skin is smooth, your imperfections are blurred, and your tone is evened. This product is 60% water, so it's very light. 
light in texture and just light overall on your skin. Here is its texture. Beautiful. I go in with my little spatula. Keeps things nice and clean and sanitary doing it that way because this is in a jar and I don't want to put my fingers in there and yeah. Anyhow, that's my little method. And then what I'll do is I'll go in with my sponge. I do sometimes use my Chantecaille foundation brush if I want just more coverage. But today we're going for that lightweight, enhance your skin coverage. So I am going to be using a sponge. So here's my product. I'm going to pick it up on my sponge. And we'll start in the center of the face. Let me get a little closer so you can see. And just blend it out. And then what I'll do is I'll go back where I feel I need a little bit more coverage and build up in that area. We've got aloe and chamomile.com and soothe if you've got sensitive skin. Rosemary, green tea, and rice brand help prevent environmentally caused oxidation. And I just read that from the site so that you can know a little more details. I'll take a little bit more product on the nose, uh, around the nose, because I have a little bit of redness there. I don't look like I'm wearing makeup, but my skin just looks smoothed and evened out. We love that. Now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna go back in for a little bit more product and build in the areas that I feel I just need a little bit more to show you. It's buildability or it's ability to build from medium, from light to medium to a little bit more. <laughs> so I just went in with a little more product. And I wear the shade Banana and Banana I discovered is the beautiful Halle Berry's shade match. So that was kind of cool. So I'm just building in this area. And, and then over here. This product to me, it's like, it's not something that you can get too carried away with. Because although you may build it up, it's still always going to look like skin and smooth and just really, really pretty. So that is the Future Skin Foundation. Skin still looks like skin, I'll take it. <laughs> now for a little touch of concealer because I do have some darkness on my under eye and I want to camouflage and hide them and I want to brighten my under eye and I want to look awake. So for that, none other than the Le Camouflage Silo. Any under eye product, you want it to be moisturizing and you want it to be lightweight. Light layers in general always play well in the concealing area so that it doesn't look heavy and cakey over time and it just wears that much better. So with this, this is a click pen product, very moisturizing and it does claim to blur. It does have an anti-fatigue complex that helps lighten the look of dark circles on the under eye and helps with puffiness, which I can take all the help I can get. It does claim to be crease free, and I find that to be true, especially with lighter layers. Do you see how easy it blends on the under eye? I get brightened, and I don't look as tired. <laughs> nice and easy. I'll go in with my finger so that you can see how easy it blends out as well. So either route, it's pretty good. I do find with my finger I get like a little bit more coverage per se and but they both look really good. Either one, the sponge or the finger. I think it's just personal preference. A lot of days when I'm not doing a full face and I'm just wearing concealer and some powder I do use my finger just because I impress for time and I just I gotta go. 
<laughs> blended with my finger and blended with the sponge. I think they both look really great. Just gonna be personal preference. I've been talking about this combo for years at this point and it's still my go-to holy grail stuff. Like, yes please and thank you. We have the Radiance Gel Bronzer. This is what it looks like. It's truly a gel. She's hydrating. She's got a little bit of glow, not too much, just enough. Blends really easily. You can use your finger, you can use a sponge, you can use a brush. It's super easy to work with. And it never looks like makeup. It genuinely looks like you're just hit with the sun in like the right places. Just taking up that product with my sponge. Then I'm just switching over to the clean portion of my sponge to nicely blend and diffuse this all over my skin. It brings back such a beautiful warmth to the skin. Let me tell you, we're not done because I love this combo so much. And this is a holy grail bronzer product. This, the real bronzer. This, ever since I started using it, I mean, clearly I'm a fan. <laughs> this is a gel powder bronzer. It is buildable and it gives the most beautiful glow to the skin. And again, this is a product that will never look like you're wearing makeup. I use, this is the shade Serena. They do have two shades, Serena and Goa. I use Serena way more than I use Goa. Goa is a little more of like a contouring color for me. And uh, Serena is more of like a bronzing color. There is the skin just so beautiful in every way. That's my combo. That has been my combo. Cannot be without these. Like, yes, they both work fine alone, but together, something magical. I think this next product is gonna be a lot of our Holy Grail products. It is the powder of powders that doesn't really look like powder, that gives you a real life filter, that smooths you, that blurs you, that just, perfect blur finishing powder which is now permanent thank you very much i do have the permanent packaging but my child my 16 year old who's very much a makeup girl now we're gonna use my older packaging one this is light medium my preferred um combo my preferred color but you guys look look at how blurred you look when you use this powder it is something so special. Powdered. Not, that, look, my skin looks fine. I'm not saying that, but you, you can see the difference. My skin is more smoothed and just in comparison. And it's not anything over the top. It's a slight kind of thing, you know, which we love. So it's an ultra fine blurring powder that smooths and perfects the skin. And boy, does it smooth and perfect the skin. <laughs> what is most important to me about this powder is yet yeah, blurs and all of the things, but it doesn't look like powder. No, amazing stuff. <laughs> Let's talk blush. I love my Chantecaille blushes. I have all of the Philanthropy Cheek Shades and I put them all in a palette. I did a dedicated video because it is, it's, yeah, that could. Um, I do hope to see them expand the shade range because these are, you know, we could use a little more depth, okay? But these are beautiful blushes, give a beautiful flush to the skin. And they are products that give back, which is very, very, very Shantikai. Um, But I love my blushes. And I do sometimes make little cocktails and mix them together and all of the things. Uh, I guess you can probably tell that this one is my favorite. This one in particular um, is the Coral. Give back, gives back to the Coral Reefs. Second favorite is the little one here with the elephant and the horsies and... These down at the bottom are my, you know, least used because they are the lightest, but I love these blushes. I mean, to the point where I had to have them all. Yeah, 
they're beautiful and they are so smooth on the skin this one is my favorite this is a Wayne Goss number 14 brush and I just love how it diffuses my blush and doesn't let it look heavy at all so pretty it's so smooth on the skin and gives just enough flush melds and blends into the skin so nicely now Ch Chantecaille has created over the years some of the most beautiful highlighting products but a lot of them are limited edition <laughs> So I wanted this video to be of my holy grails of products that are in the line permanently that you can get at any time. So this is such a beautiful highlight. Oh my goodness. The Chantecai Liquid Lumia. This is a liquid highlighter, but ooh, this thing will last you forever. Okay, because you don't need a lot. It is so beautiful. Okay, this shade in particular that is my holy grail is Brilliance. And that's what she swatches like. So I'm grabbing my sponge because that's my favorite way to apply it. And I'm just going to pick up. And shall we apply? I find this to be such a natural highlight without looking like a stripe on the skin. It melts into the skin really nicely. It's smooth. It's buildable. It's hot. Your skin is hydrated and supple. And it's so natural and pretty. And this thing stays put when you apply it. It's not going anywhere. And again, it's buildable. So, so we have our, our first very soft layer. I am going to build it up because I just want a little bit more intensity. Mm-hmm, like that. And we don't look like we're wearing a ton of makeup. Let's talk eyeshadow products, shall we? So, Chantecai has an eye base they came out with. It's got rose stem cell and grape extracts that are smoothing and soothing to your eyes. Yes. This is what she looks like. And I have two, the both of the shades. They have a light and then they have a medium. So there's light and there's medium. The medium's a little more pinky tone, um, but it's so creamy and a really nice eye base. And what's great is you can use this all on its own. If you just want to smooth out your lids, it works great for that. And I personally just like to blend it with my finger. I find it to be the fastest way, but I mean, I've used brush and sponge as well, but I like, you know, just using my finger, just smoothing everything out and everyone together. I love Chantecaille's Le Chrome Luxe Eye Duos. I did a dedicated video literally swatching every single one on my lids and creating looks with them. I love the formulation. So beautiful. Whenever I have a date night and I just, I kind of don't know what I want to do, I'll grab one. All right. My, like, Monte Carlo, I really enjoy that really pretty soft pink because it's a little, you know, easy for the everyday. I can dust this all over and then a little something. If you want to add a little more, you can go in with the more chrome shimmery shade and it's just absolutely beautiful. The formulation on these is, it's something. Really, really love Tibet because what I do with Tibet is I'll go in with either of these two as like a pop little something in the inner corner or just a little something on the lid I'm constantly reaching for these so these I would have to immediately repurchase now as you can see right the vibe today is very skin very easy very effortless we don't want to look like we're doing the most you know so for that so my go-to is the mermaid eye matte this is a velvety matte eyeshadow this is the shade Sylvie. This is something I just love to put all over the lid and then I'll like deepen up my crease with a little bronzer or just do this on the lid and be good to go. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, either way it's gonna look great. And this is why I love it most. It doesn't look like much. It really is so soft and pretty. And that eye base really brightens up my lid so I don't really have to go in looking for a brow bone highlight or anything like that. I'm gonna go into Goa, the darker 
of the two bronzers and blend that in my crease. Just add a little definition. This look is super soft. My eyes look brightened and awake. And it just very effortless. Eyes are super soft. Super soft and pretty. I have to go into one of my Look Chrome Looks Eye Duos. So this is Tibet, one of my favorite duos. I'm going into the lighter of the two shades, and that will be our little pop on the inner corner. It's still soft, but I just need to <laughs> share with you how beautiful these are. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Just enough. You didn't think I forgot, did you? I have them all. I have collected them all. The luminescent eye shades. If you're unfamiliar, these are the Chantecaille luminescent eye shade. Each one has a different animal and they're pearlescent light catching eyeshadows that have a multi-dimensional shimmer. We've got Lion. We've got Cheetah. Oh my gosh, Cheetah. Look at that. Ooh, the crane. Look at the crane. There you go. Sorry. You have this one, Mar. I love wearing Mar all on its own, just all over the lid. The pangolin. Just look how beautiful these are. This giraffe shade. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And then this beautiful this one. And this leopard shade. Stunning. I went ahead and did a little eyeliner. This is the Chantecaille Eye Kajal. I've shared with you how you can just take a angled brush, this one is from Chantecaille, and use the Eye Kajal to create a very uh, soft and very easy to create wing or just a little line above the lid just to create a little something if you're not very comfortable with using like a liquid liner. And here we are. This is a very soft look. This is a very easy product. You can apply it with your finger. You can apply it with a brush. It wears really well. It's a very easy type of product. And that is why the Chantecaille Mermaid Eye in the matte finish is such a a holy grail because it's just so easy and so quick. But you all know how much I love my luminescent eye shades. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to quickly remove this eye look and we're gonna create a little something with my favorites, my holy grails from the luminescent eye shades. Super quick, super easy. So I went ahead and prepped my eyes again with the Next Generation Eye Base. I'm going to start off with a fluffy blending brush in this giraffe shade. And I am just going to blend this shade directly in the crease and on the outer eye. Nice and soft. Very soft and easy. These are very effortless. And the look that I create, it's gonna show you how versatile these shades are. They're not just lid shades. You can use them in different ways. I'm taking that same brush, just cleaning it off. And we're now gonna go into the Lion shade. And I'm gonna apply that just all over my lid. I'm gonna clean that brush off and just blend. And that is it. That's it. I want a little something on the inner corner, so I'm gonna go into the shade Cheetah. Now you can use these wet or dry if you'd like. That's it. That was super quick. It looks a lot more than what it is. And it's just absolutely beautiful. This next product is another one of those products that I always make sure I'm never running low on or I'm never out of. It is the Faux Sils Longest Lash Mascara. Always have one. Always have one. This mascara is the mascara that contains the lash peptides to help your lashes grow and it nourishes them as well. It helps with their length, their thickness, and their fullness. I was not a believer 
I will admit. But I tried this mascara and I consistently use this mascara. It wasn't until my daughter pointed out my lashes to me that I even had a clue <laughs> that this mascara was working. But this mascara is really good. This mascara has rose oil in it, which is very conditioning to your lashes as well, along with the peptides that help it grow and such. I also really love that it's not a clumpy mascara, no matter how many coats and layers that you apply. It has a, what's called a deluxe helix brush that combs and feathers your lashes to define volume. Let me show you. So you wanna make sure you wiggle at the base because those peptides, you want them all to nourish and coat your lashes. What I like to do is, I like to do a couple of coats, but I just wanna share with you how beautiful this mascara is. No clumping, no flaking, none of that. Yes, we love. Ready to talk lip products? I have a few. Some really good ones. Some staples, some true holy grails. Let's start off with the glosses because I love a glossy lip. I love the hydration because I definitely need it. <laughs> These are the brilliant lip gloss. These are my two. These are my go-to. No pun intended. <laughs> Take a look at these beauties. They are very well loved, to say the least. Here is what these glosses have that I don't have any other glosses that have. And it's such a simple thing, but it's not. They have a brush applicator. There's just something about it that makes it so good. Let me give you a quick swatch. Modern and Glee. They have a little bit of sparkle in them, just enough to help your lips just look so juicy and nourished and amazing. These glosses are not sticky at all and they actually hydrate your lips. I can't tell you how many times I use a lip gloss that yeah, it makes your lips shiny, but then your lips are dry once it wears down. This actually, hydrates the lips, which, like I said, I can use all the hydration I can get on my lips. So I'm gonna put the shade Modern at the bottom and then the brighter one at the top so that you can see. I love the applicator, I really, really do. I know it's such a simple thing, but it's kinda not. So these are the Brilliant Glosses. Up top we have Glee, and down below we have Modern. So yeah, you do get to see the color. You know, it's nothing crazy, but <laughs> there is a difference. So again, up top is Glee, and down below is the Modern shade. Now the next Shantikai lip product that I just can't get enough of and I love so much that it is Holy Grail status is the Lip Tint hydrating balm. This is in the shade Beach Rose. Now, these are the most perfect no makeup makeup lip balms. This is the shade right here swatched. It is like a balm but you get a little bit of color and it contains a rose and cherry fruit extract. It's one of those products it's one of those products that you just want to keep gliding on your lips because it's so nourishing and so comfortable. <laughs> And you see how easy this shade is? It's just like a lip balm, but you're getting more. You're getting a lot of nourishment and you're getting that beautiful tint. Le Mat Silo. This is a crayon lip product and it's matte. I know, I know. I complain about matte lip products all the time because I can't do it. I can't do it, not with my dry lips, I can't do it. But these are the exception. Look how beautiful. It's a very mauve pinky tone, yes she is. This is a velvety matte and it contains hydrating products that make it very comfortable. We love her, especially for a matte. Now for Shantikai's more traditional lipsticks, I love the Lip Chics. These are more like the fun limited edition packaging, but the more standard packaging is like this. The lip cheeks are glossy, 
hydrating lipsticks. They do contain hyaluronic acid that they're gonna nourish and plump your lips. So your lips feel super hydrated and very comfortable wearing the product. This is in the shade Capuchin. This came out with the Flower Power collection, but it is still currently available on the website. And here's what I love. You don't have to make it super vibrant. You can just put it and then kind of sheer it out. If you don't want that super vibrant orangey red shade. And although I'm not applying it to its max color intensity, I'm still getting a good amount of hydration. I really like an orangey red shade and I like that I have the option for the versatility with this where like I said we can share it out a little bit like we did or we can kind of build it up and make it more intense. So here is my full face using my holy grail can't live without can't stop won't stop <laughs> favorite Shantikai products skincare makeup all of the things. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, I wanted to create this video to be like a reference if you're new to the brand, if you just don't know where to start, or if there's just products you're curious about and you wanna know, hey, are they worth it? Did they make the cut from someone who has been consistently using them? And also, whenever Shantikai has sales and things like that, I want this video to come in handy for stuff like that. If you have any Holy Grail Shantikai products, comment them down below. Thank you all so much for spending some of your time with me today. Please don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.